almost 6 a.m. Where the hell is Nicole? I told her to meet me here at 5. <sighs> oh well, I guess I'll just start on my own. So you all know that I'm Ricky the Bean Maker, but joining me today... I'm Nicole the Pastry Chef. Awesome! Where the hell were you this morning? You told me to be here at five. The other five! There's another five? Today we're answering one question, and it is from my mother. <clears throat> Dearest son, most glorious of all my children, blah blah blah, skipping all the way to the salient question, which is... I love your mead. I would love to barbecue with it, but I don't want to waste it. Can you give me some advice? Before we get to the recipes, we want to talk to you about two things. One, cooking meat in general. Remember, meat is expensive. It's embarrassing to ruin it. So get yourself a good thermometer and always cook it to the proper temperature. Also, your friends are priceless. It's really embarrassing to kill them. So get yourself a thermometer and cook things to the proper temperature. Nicole has some thoughts on cooking with mead, though. Right. Well, as you know, meat is a delicate flavor, and we find that it comes through more clearly in a lighter meat, such, a, such as chicken or brats or chicken brats. Um, it's a little harder for it to overpower flavors in bolder meats like steak or ribs, so you want to choose your meat wisely. Okay. And with that, I'm going to let you cook, and I'm going to leave you alone. And now for the world's easiest marinade, two bottles of Valkyrie's Choice. Safety glasses on. Cover those puppies up, and we're just going to let this sit for about an hour. I'll tell you the ingredients, but do remember all of these recipes are posted on our website. You're going to need salt, curry powder, chili pepper, fenberry draft, some water, and a menaz. The menaz is for you. Salt, chili powder to taste. I like my fish spicy. Whatever blend of curry powder you like. And water. And of course, Fenberry Draft. Now it's time to gently add the fish. You don't want it to break as you're dropping them in. I'm using hake. You can use any white fish that you have available. Now you want to put it back in the fridge to marinate for two to three hours. We're making a basic Italian marinade here, this time with menaz. We're going to start by adding a couple heaping tablespoons of garlic, a good hefty two tablespoons of oregano. You can just throw in your thyme, it's great. You don't really need to pick it because it's not being served. You want about a tablespoon of two or of salt as well, kosher. and the two bottles of Manaz. And now, through the wonder of cinema, we actually have some ready for you. This has been sitting for about three hours. You can use it on just about anything, and we've used it on chicken. And now it's time to discuss the barbecuer's bane. I'm, of course, talking about vegans. This is my favorite vegetarian barbecue recipe. Just place your washed mushrooms in a big Ziploc baggie, Add paprika, oh, about a tablespoon. Salt, as always, to taste. Good extra virgin olive oil. That's where a lot of your flavor will be coming from. And about two tablespoons of mead. Zip your Ziploc shut and mix, shaking, Elegantly. And wait. The fish and the mushrooms have been in the smoker about three hours at 200 degrees. You can go a little longer, a little shorter. The most important thing is remember to use your thermometer. You don't want to overcook that fish. 155 to 160 degrees internal is as high as you want to go. Out of the smoker and ready for the table. 
164 degrees. 165. Perfect. Uh, so much barbecue. Come on, Ricky. Just need to do the word of the week. You can do it. The word of the week is dyspepsia. They, they can Google it. Let's do some pre-roll. Me, 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 me. So I hope you pre-roll. <laughs> I don't know what pre-roll is. <laughs>